<laughs> Welcome back, y'all, to the 5 nothing 100 nothingcom channel. My name is Fergit, and that stands for the funniest underread redneck guru using intelligent tactics. And I'm back, you guys. I'm ready to rumble. I'm ready to rock and roll, strut and stroll. <laughs> All right. Here's what we got, guys. We got five new tips for you, okay? Now, these tips are titled Five Tips for Creating a Dating Profile. Okay, so I'm going to catch you guys up. Now, y'all know I, I went and I, I had my TED Talk, you know, and um, I bought me a, a fancy schmancy jacket. I spent a little, a little of that dopper money, and um, last you knew, I told y'all mama took off, right? Mama went over to the to the outlaws. <laughs> so she went over to her mom's. And, uh, you know, they got to talking about, you know, things going on. How, I how my channel's blown up. How my bluegrass band. We're getting ready to do some big things. And, um, you know, I think, I think mama's got some insecurities about you know, the man she was with and whatnot. And, um, she didn't like me spending money like that. And, you know, you got to spend money to make money. That's what the Bible says. So I was just, I was a man on my purpose and my plan. You know, years ago, I took that red pill. They say it, they call it the red pill. And, um, you know, I'm a man that it stands on its purpose. And I know what I am, who I am, and where I'm going. So, ain't no woman gonna derail my greatness, all right? So, that's what happened there. So she was hot, hot under the collar about my suit, and um, you know, reusing them diapers a couple times, big deal. When I'm making millions, she ain't gonna care about one diaper rash or, or nothing like that, but you know what? Too bad, so sad. <laughs> so, you know, and it's, it's just one more reason I know that I'm a star, because you know them stars in, in the Hollywood Hills, and they're always divorced. You know, they're always having problems in their relationships, and um, they can't they can't stick around for for a negative Nelly, you know, for a Debbie Downer. They call them a Debbie Downer, you know. And so this is just what happens. You know, you get divorced. And so I know I made it when I'm when I'm seeing that that's uh, happening to me as well. So, you know. I'm starting to think maybe mama, I thought she, thought she married me for love, you know, for that first Tinder date and from the humping and having the babies and whatnot. But I don't know. I don't know why that woman even married me at this point. So I'm back on the, I'm back on the prowl, baby. I'm back on the market. So we're going to, we're going to go over, you know, what I talked about, you know, creating a great social meet, social dating, you know, profile you know, for them date naps and stuff. And, um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get back in the saddle before I know it. And, you know, the mama thing, that, that may or may not work out. I don't know. But, you know, forget, I'm a man. I'm an American. I'm living and dying for this country. And I need loving. You know, to, to quote the great John Travolta in the movie Urban Cowboy, Got it on beta and on VHS. You know, he goes back to the trailer after a hard day's work. And he and Sissy, you know, so he married this girl named Sissy. You know, they're having they're having some marital issues. And um, he's talking about how a man comes home from work and he wants good loving and a good hot meal. And he didn't get no hot meal. He got McDonald's. And an old Travolta took that McDonald's bag and he threw it across the room. He goes, damn it, McDonald's again. And she's like, oh, shoot, bud, I work too. It was a great scene. I recommend you look it up. So, anyways, let's get, let's get right to the tips, baby. All right. The first tip is you want to pick the right profile picture, okay? So, what I've been learning, the best profile picture you can have when a girl is swapping is to have you holding lots of money, okay? Because that's how you know you're gonna get the right one. Because she 
a high value woman is going to want a high value man. And a man that's holding all his money and flaunting it, you know that he's a high value man. So you're going to eliminate a lot of the dating pool that is not a high value woman. So hold lots of money up in your profile picture. Number two, you got to tell them all your problems, okay? Women love to talk about their problems, right? And they want you to talk about yours too. So, you know, you don't want any surprises when you start dating and get to humping and marry her, you know, at the old city hall and the justice of the peace ignites you in front of the eyes of God forever and ever. Hopefully, you know, things happen, but that's the thing. You want no surprises. So any problems you have or you think you might have, you want to put them right there in your profile. So she knows who you are and what you expect, right? And, and the things that are going to upset you, you put it all down there. She'll appreciate it. Trust me. Number three. All right. You need to find some pictures of you working, you know? Like my pictures I got, is um, some of me standing at the at the welfare line getting my check. You know, she knows, I don't care where that check comes from, but you, if you're getting a check, that's gonna be an attractive trait to her, right? Or um, I got a couple of me doing my dumpster dives, you know? I show her that I'm resourceful and that I believe in a green planet of recycling. And that, you know, the old saying, of one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that's how I live. So she knows I'm always going to be out there either standing in line to get my check or I'm going to be, you know, balls deep in a dumpster getting getting some, some resources, right? Number four, think about this in your description, right? You got to tell her about all the babies you have, right? Because it's sending a message. It's sending a message to her that you have lots of lead in your pencil and you can have even more babies, right? So, mom and I had four so far that I know of. And, you know, the other thing I tell that, that filly who's swiping is that you don't care about them babies. You know, you don't care about your ex. You don't care about them babies no more because she's your baby. And she'll respect that as a man that you do that. So, you tell her, so I don't care about them kids. I care about you. I care about having kids with you and starting a new life. And we forget all about that. Right? I mean, you deal with the courts on your own time. You know, with mama and stuff. You just keep you, you just keep getting them checks. You keep making some money. Because it's going to cost you dearly, trust me. Whew, doggy. Oh, it's been a long, it's been a long, hard holiday season so far for old Fergus. But it don't make me bitter. It makes me better. That's what the Bible says. Alright. Fifth tip, y'all. Okay. You make sure that woman is domesticated, right? She can cook and clean and all that good stuff, right? And it always helps if you put like a list of your favorite foods and your expectations for for her making those foods for you, you know? Um, there's no need of who's going to do the chores, who's going to do this or that or the other thing. Mm -mm. You're the man. You wear the pants. You're the king of your castle, baby. I don't care if it's in mama's basement. I don't care if you downsized your trailer or whatnot. That's still your castle, baby. And, and she's got to know that, all right? So that's my that's my vetting system for creating a very good dating profile for the apps. And before you know it, you'll be saying, I do. And she'll be saying, please do. <laughs> all right, all right, you guys. Well, happy holidays from old Uncle Fergit. Probably do another one of these videos. I got a lot of time on my hands. And uh, to be honest, I'm under house arrest right now. So there's not much I can do. It's a good thing, you know, I got plenty of canned food. I still got to get to the store to, to turn in some of them cans and bottles. But that's another store for another day, y'all. All right. Well, you take care of yourselves. And um, hopefully um, you caught that TED Talk. Appreciate your support. Thanks for the pre-orders on the, the Bluegrass Band's first album. I'm really excited to, to get that out. I don't know when it drops, 
what they say? He used to say release in my day. And the old Casey Kasem be talking about on the top 40. <laughs> Now, now the kids are saying that it drops. So, the only thing I've been dropping is some weight since I can't get out to the McDonald's or nothing. So, and again, anyways, y'all, I love you. Thinking about you, I'm praying for you. I thank God for you every day. I'm thankful. I live in the greatest country in America, baby. That's a good old U.S. of A. <laughs> All right, take care, y'all. Bye bye.